The Bemidji City Council has called for a special work session to discuss questions and concerns over the Sanford Center and its management company, Venue Works. Josh Peterson explains why. As Bemidji's event center approaches its sixth year anniversary, some are questioning its management company's recent decision to lay off three full-time employees and demote one employee who has now resigned. Some Bemidji City Council members have raised some concerns about the management company Venue Works and its dealings with the Sanford Center, prompting the city of Bemidji to call for a special work session. And when you, you come in and you basically wipe out 25% of the staff, you kind of wonder what's what's causing that, you know, why, why all of a sudden after six years are they, are they getting so concerned about the staff that it's been pretty much the same the whole time. In an interview with the Bemidji Pioneer, Venue Works told the paper that the decision on layoffs was made because the facility was too heavy for the amount of business coming in. None of this was known at the time to Bemidji City officials, and now concerns from past and current employees have come to the forefront. I think the City Council probably is agrees that uh, you know, we should, we should uh, listen to those people when, when we're having that many people upset. Despite the turbulence with the event center's management company Venue Works, the Sanford Center has had a positive impact on the city of Bemidji, such as new developments all over town. A lot of the stuff that's happening here in, in this Bemidji is the direct result of the Sanford Center. Councilman Johnson says that with the event center's busy season fast approaching, the hope is that some of the concerns and questions that remain about the Sanford Center and its management company will be laid to rest. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. The Bemidji City Council will hold its work session in the City Hall Conference Room on Monday at 5.30 p.m. We'll be, we'll be there and bring you the report that night. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.